Okay, let's see how to graph the inequality x is less than or equal to 0 on the xy plane. So this is not just going to be a number line graph. Okay, we are going to do this on the xy plane. So the answer is going to be a region. And with that being said, let's go ahead and get our x-axis ready and also the y-axis ready. And you know this is the x-axis, right? And let me label this for you guys. You know this is 1, 2, 3. And this is negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, and so on. And you also have the y, of course. 1, 2, 3, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, and so on, right? Well, we care about x being 0. So this is how you do it. You go to x being 0, which is right here. This is where x is equal to 0. And you see that we have x is less than or equal to 0. By the way, how does that line look like? x is equal to 0 exactly. It's going to be a vertical line, right? Whenever you have x being a number, you're going to end up with a vertical line. And the way that I can remember is that on the x-axis, the little lines right here are vertical. So we go to 0, and we go ahead and draw that vertical line. This is going to be a solid line because we do have that equal sign, right? Otherwise, we have to use the dashed line. But anyways, this is going to be a solid line right here. And it happens to be the same as the y-axis. <laughs> but anyways, this right here is x is equal to 0. But I want to have x is less than or equal to 0. We are going to associate x with left or right. When we have the less than situation, we are going to shade it to the left. Okay. When we have x is less than something, we are going to shade it to the left. And this is less than or equal to, same thing. We just, we are just going to sh Actually, I'm just going to do this. <laughs> I'm just going to shade this to the left, and this is the region that we have. Okay, that's it.